Fortnite competitive is without a doubt one of esports' biggest aspects, especially when it comes to getting that paper, you know what I mean, cashing out. Fortnite is giving away, check this out, tons of millions of dollars in events and worldwide gaming tournaments that has had a massive impact on the way the world sees gaming. It's becoming more and more of a popular part of our culture, and many people are starting to seek even becoming a pro player. I mean, wouldn't you want to be? You could have a shot at winning thousands to even millions of dollars, and all you have to do is get good at Fortnite? Please sign me up. But it's just not that simple. <laughs> There's a lot of techniques and tactics that go into what makes someone the best in the world. I wish I could just wake up one day and just say, you know what, I wanna be the best in the world today. Uh, it's not that easy. What's going on guys, it's the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Let me ask you this question, are you beating yourself up? Are you putting yourself down? Are you analyzing every negative thing about yourself? Because you need to stop. You gotta encourage yourself. You gotta look at every step as a positive step in the right direction. This is your year, this is your season. Come on now, be happy, be joyful, because because I'm telling you, you're gonna do things this year that you've never done before. Connect with me on my Instagram. I'm posting up vids to inspire you to be the best that you can be, not only in this game, but also in life. Also, a lot of you guys are asking for a creator code, so we went ahead and we made one for you. Be sure to use code PROGUYS in the item shop when doing any kind of purchase to support your friendly ProGuides Fortnite team. But before we get into all of this, hey, if you guys are interested in getting better at Fortnite, then click the link below to go to ProGuys.com where you can play the best players in the world just by clicking a button. So sign up for our membership at ProGuys and you're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel. So if you want to compete in Fortnite, all you got to do is check out ProGuys.com. Also, be sure to drop a like on this video and show your love. We strive to bring you guys the best content available. All right, guys, with that being said, it's time to relax, sit back, and get my favorite candy. Come on, say with me, that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. In this video today, we're going to be showing you guys some of the best tips for positioning and controller mechanics. These two aspects of game players is going to change the way you play Fortnite significantly. Are you ready for that? Yes, I'm glad you are. In fact, practicing these two alone could secure you insanely high chances of placing in events and online tournaments. So pay close attention. What is positioning? Good question. You hear pros talking about it every once in a while, but we bet you you see every pro do it without even realizing it, really. Positioning is a skill, okay, that comes with practice and lots of thinking. Almost all the best pros in the world are masters of positioning, and they use it to their advantage in order to succeed. Positioning is, essentially, the process of thinking that you use to decide where to place yourself on the map. Got it? Whether you're choosing where you rotate to next or figuring out whether you should be on the high ground or low ground, positioning can vary in different scenarios, okay? That's why it's important to get as good at it as much as possible. To start this video off, let's take a look at a pro that is a master of positioning. Before Bugo even won the World Cup, this player was one of the most paid esports players in the world. Can you guess who it is? In case you don't know already, all right, maybe some of you do, it's Ghost Bizzle. Bizzle was most likely one of the smartest players in terms of positioning. He was one of the first people to even qualify for Fade 2 without using a single weapon. Did you hear what I said? I said the guy qualified without using a single weapon. Ghost Bizzle went ahead and he showed the entire world that positioning himself was enough to get you to the leaderboards and even into the World Cup Finals. He didn't just do this once, however. He did this multiple times live on stream and he has the gameplay to even prove it. So let's take a look at some pros and just see how they do it. First off, ladies and gentlemen, we got the one and only Tifu. Tifu was also a World Cup qualifier and is known all around to be one of the best Fortnite players. Everybody knows that. Not necessarily for his building skills, but mainly for his ability to be a great competitive player, you know what I mean? Tifu's positioning is also probably one of the best in the entire game. In this clip, we can see Tifu targeting another player. This player happens to be a good distance away, meaning that he's going to need good shots and a good angle that doesn't leave him open to getting sniped from other players. This is the end game, guys, meaning that a lot of players might be hiding in by one by ones, waiting for an opportunity to snipe at an opponent that is just standing still. Let's see what Tifu does. First, he closes off the distance between his opponent by building towards him. But also, guys, pay attention to how he's building up rather than just running straight to him. Tifu does this because it gives him better positioning over the opponent. Not only does he have the high ground, but he's also closer, meaning that his shots will do damage. Also, pay attention right here, okay, to how he's reinforcing his stairs with walls and floors. These will protect him from people that's trying to shoot him down. Okay, so now Tifu has the high ground, and he's closed the gap. Remember what we said before about snipers? Tifu knows this, and he keeps it in mind while he's taking shots at his opponent. So look at this. Watch how he peeks, shoots, and then crouches really quickly after. 
This allows him to deal damage while lessening the risk of getting sniped or shot by other players. Smart. And sure enough, with two easy shots, he finishes off the opponent and only has one remaining. Although there's only one person left, Tifa was still playing the same as before. He's keeping his high ground and he's trying to shorten the distance between himself and the opponent. He does do this, but the bloom of the weapon that he's using does not do him justice for this range. Now Tifu has to get closer, without getting shot. And obviously, he can't keep building up because he could easily get shot down if he overextends. So, you know, most players at this point would just rush the final remaining opponent and just waste a lot of materials doing so. This would also increase the chances of them taking damage as they'd be running and giving more opportunities for the enemy just to take shots. This, my friends, is not what Tifu does. Instead, look at this, he focuses on his positioning. Let's take a look at the minimap and let's just see where the next circle is going to be. Tifu sees that his opponent is way out of the next circle, meaning that the last remaining guy will eventually have to move. So Tifu quickly notices this and he starts moving towards the circle while keeping a closer eye on the opponent, taking any shots he can, really pressing to make sure that the opponent doesn't have an easy chance to rotate or take shots. As soon as Tifu gets to the circle, we see him once again building up and taking height. He now has the high ground in an optimal position where the opponent will have to literally rotate to him in order to stay alive. Tifu just literally flipped the tables. He was the one at a disadvantage as the opponent was perched up on a hill and glaring at him waiting to get angles for shots. Now Tifu is the guy, he is the one now, at high ground while the opponent rushes him in a desperate attempt to get into the circle. And by just keeping good positioning and really applying this thinking guys, Tifu secures an easy win, hassle free. So, just to do a quick summary, positioning is all about being smart with where you are. Consider the storm, consider the area that you're in, and look at points of natural high ground, right? If there aren't any, make high ground yourself by building a secure way up to height. Tifu does this almost every game, and he wins because of it. Now that we've gone over positioning and shown you guys a good example of how it works, let's move on to controller mechanics, which is a major part of being really good at Fortnite. Both keyboard and mouse and controller need good mechanics in order to be good. Booga, the Fortnite world champion, has some of the best mechanics in the world. Mechanics are basically your ability to aim, to build, to edit. They're the physical aspects of the game that have to do with how you use your platform, whether that be controller or keyboard. In this video, we're going to be focusing on controller. In order to improve your mechanics, all right, the first thing you want to do is hop into creative. Practice doing basic things like 90s and other building moves you already know. Your goal should be to be able to do these moves faster and smoother than ever, making them muscle memory so you don't even think about it. The more fluid you become with the moves you already know, the better of a player you're going to become. Once you've drilled and you've done them successfully, watch some of our videos on the best building moves and tricks. High ground retakes and starts are very important for being able to take on good players. Once you've seen these moves, start practicing them and just get as good as you can with these as well. Remember my friend, you want those to be muscle memory, meaning that you can almost do it with your eyes closed. Once you've gotten all the moves down, now you want to work on your aim. We have some really good creative maps for aiming, you should check out those videos, but for your convenience we have the map codes ready to go in the description of the video. Aim training creative courses are a great way to improve your aim on controller. Many keyboard and mouse players use the popular software known as Kovacs to improve their aim. Believe it or not though, all right, you gotta hear this out, creative aim training maps that are created by people in the Fortnite community are even better. Yeah. These use the same aiming mechanics in Fortnite and the aim assist works just the same on bots and targets that are provided. We suggest doing these maps at least once a day for about mm, 15 to 30 minutes. This is going to maximize the amount you practice, guys, but it's not too much to the point where you start like zoning out. You're like, where am I? You're in creative. Remember that. Doing it daily is going to be so important for your muscle memory, so be sure to do this every single time you get on. Plus, it does act as a nice way to warm up. Next, you're going to want to work on your editing. The best way to do this is by using editing creative maps or just by practicing basic edits on a wall, pyramid, ramp, and floor. What's good about the maps is that some of them provide bots and targets for you to just shoot, you know, after you make the edits. These are like more realistic and they're going to get you to practice your movement and aiming along with the edits you make. Editing courses, man, are also made by some of the best players in the world. Once you practice all three of these skills, okay, now this is what you want to do. Grab a friend and hop into a creative lobby once again. Now, what you want to do is do some 1v1s, alright? 
Have you ever wondered why players like Booga and Face Sway spend hours of their day in creative just 1Ving and playing with their friends? It's not just because it's fun, it's also because it's the most effective way to train your mechanics, guys. 1v1 is great, you know why? Because it causes you to focus greatly on your mechanic without really having to worry about positioning and other things like getting third party. 1v1ing also provides non-stop practice. There's no need to gather materials, find loot, find players, or even return to the lobby and wait for another match. You jump straight into the game and just start playing non-stop, so definitely put some 1v1ing into your daily routine. Finally, my friends, we recommend finding a good sensitivity and settings to use with your controller. Good sensitivities and settings on controller are absolutely necessary for just performing well. Even more important than that, on keyboard and mouse, playing on an accurate and easily controllable sensitivity that you're comfortable with is just much better than playing on something random that you decided just to try out. We recommend checking out our best sensitivity video for season chapter two. It provides a great place to start and you guys can tweak it and apply the changes that you need to make it just right for you. Remember that practice makes perfect. Come on, say it with me. Practice makes perfect. Yes, all together class, I love it. You must be willing to practice and get better if you want your mechanics to improve. When it comes to positioning, it's really all about how much you think about it. Focusing on positioning is gonna bring an almost instant improvement. And the more you train in it, the more you're gonna get better at it, right? And all you gotta do is just think about how to get on high ground and how to get good angles. Once again, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This is The Motivation Guy. That's right, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I want to inspire you guys to be the best that you can be, not only in this game, but also in life. Come on now, take over, do your best, and be great, because greatness is on the inside of you. We really hope you enjoyed this video. We spent a lot of time doing research and making sure that all the information is accurate to help you guys improve on controller as much as possible. So be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment on what your thoughts are. Also, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com. We have all new course videos. And if you want to compete at the highest level, you need to check this out immediately. Once again, guys, we'll see you on the next one.